Hello, I'm Tyler Weaver from Picnic, and today we're going to be talking about Move It To Tutorials. This is Ross Developer Notes. Thank you for coming back for another episode. Um, in this one, we're going to be looking at the Getting Started tutorial for Foxy. Um, some of my previous tutorials weren't really tutorials. They were just me showing you how broken the tutorials were and how you could get involved in helping fix that. But um, recently, we've fixed a lot of the issues around the Ross Foxy tutorial. And so this will actually be me going through the tutorials. So that's what you should see in this video, at least the Getting Started tutorial. So let's get started. All right, the first thing we have to do is install ROS2 Foxy. Um, I would recommend installing from Debian packages. Check your locale if you need to. This will install stuff we need, um, some real basic stuff, and get the uh, add the key, do an apt update, good to go. Um, this is going to add the ROS repo to my sources list. This is going to do an apt update. Um, this is going to install Rust Foxy Desktop. I've already done this before, but this might take a little while on your machine. It's a lot of packages. All right. Um, this is something you don't want to forget. This is how you source the F Foxy install so that you can use it. I left a little note here. Um, all sorts of problems can come up if you've, like, in your Bash RC, for example, sourced Noetic before. If that's the case, you need to remove that from your Bash RC and replace it with the Foxy one, or and then start a new terminal, or just drop it out of your uh, Bash RC altogether and start a new terminal. Um, if you'd previously in this terminal sourced another version of ROS, the setup scripts for ROS2, unlike the ROS1 ones, don't try to change which version of ROS you've installed, so you'll end up with paths that are conflicted and your builds will go poorly all right this is the next step and this is where i'm going to say i opened it to um pr to fix this you don't want to install uh raw step two that, that will actually if you have a noetic install it will break it and regular raw step is actually newer than raw step two um it's dumb but it is what it is all right so that's installed now we got to do the next step which is raw step update um, that's going to bring down the yaml files from different ross distros so it knows how to install certain things um, we're going to do an apt update like it says we'll do we could do a dist upgrade but you can see it says all packages are up to date for me so we don't need to do that uh, next thing is installing vcs tool you install it this way or you can install it with pip um, Let's do it this way. It's already installed on my machine. All right, now you need to make a workspace directory. Um, you can put it wherever you want. I'm going to put it in code foxy, and I'm going to make um, a workspace directory, and I'm going to call this um, tutorials. We'll CD into there. All right, now we need to clone the tutorials themselves. And be careful to note that we're checking out the branch Foxy when we're cloning these tutorials. And we're going to use VCS import. This will download a couple other, or maybe just one. We'll see. Uh, repos that are needed um, for the tutorials to work correctly. Yeah. Uh, move Visual Tools and Arvid's Visual Tools. Both of those need to be released and Hopefully we'll have that do, done soon. You don't need it, but all right. Now raw step. This is the step where you use raw step to install dependencies. Um, this includes move it. This, this is where move it gets installed. Um, uh, since we're basing this on the released version of move it. Yep. Go ahead and install all these things. Install and move it messages. Oh, something I forgot. This whole section right here. We should we got to do that before we build. This is installing Colcon. Um, and Colcon Mixin. Which is an, an important part of what we're doing. 
finish installing all this stuff and we'll do that. Golcon's the tool, it's the, the build tool, it's the thing that runs CMake. And Mixin is just something that allows you, it's, it adds shorthand essentially to the build command for um, uh, these kind of verbose and obnoxious CMake commands. It's a really nice, you should read up about it if you're curious, or just copy and paste and it'll work great. We should add a tech Y. All right, all raw steps are installed correctly. All right, we need to install this stuff. Um, apparently, I've already installed that. Let's install Mixin. Um, then I gotta add this repository, this index.yaml to my default, which it says already exists. And then update. And we'll fetch the stuff and we're good to go. All right. Uh, now we do the build. Um, we go up to the workspace directory. Make sure you do that. Come to it from the source directory. And then it's just this command right here. And it should build um, all of the stuff in the workspace. Once this is done, you source the workspace itself. And that's important so that you can run the stuff in so that the ROS2 like launch commands and stuff can find the paths in your uh, CMake install directory or your workspace install directory. Um, and that's all there really is to it. Um, sit here and wait for this to finish. And in the next episode, I'll, I'll be going through the interactive motion planning plugin in Arviz tutorial. That's the next one that has been updated and is robust for Foxy and works well. Um, building the tutorials package. All right, that's it. Um, just, you can copy and paste that if that was actually your path, or you can just do source install bash or setup dot bash, and we're we're good to go. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one. This is raised your uh, Ross IQ or your Move It IQ. Um, please like, subscribe, um, comment. You can find me over in the Move It Discord regularly. And I'm happy to answer any questions you have. Thank you.